What's up, guys? So this is the Blu-ray update that, you know, I was promising you for the last couple of weeks. So, uh, yeah, I got a bunch of titles here, uh, some new releases uh, and a couple other releases uh, that I was going to pick up on Blu-ray. So here is uh, this Blu-ray unboxing for uh, this month. We've got the first Blu-ray title I have here is um, Blue Jasmine. And... Um, you know, Kate Blanchett is nominated for for Best Actress in this uh, in this film, and I think she has a very good chance of winning. Uh, you know, there's a lot of competition this year for her um, for for Best Actress. Uh, definitely, there's there's a lot of competition here. So, um, yeah, Woody Allen I think also has the nomination for screenplay, and uh, what's what's her name? Uh, Sally Hawkins is nominated for. Um, for best uh, supporting actress. So here's the digital copy code. If this gets into focus, there you go. There's the digital copy code to Blue Jasmine. You know, use that uh, because I don't use the digital copy code. So, uh, and there's a quick look at the disc there. Uh, there's artwork on it. So that's pretty, uh, that's pretty cool. So if you haven't already picked up Blue Jasmine, I think you should. It's a really good film. Okay, guys, next up we have Jackass Presents Bad Grandpa, the Oscar-nominated film uh, for makeup and hairstyling uh, to make Johnny Knoxville look like this 86-year-old man, you know, Irving Zisman. Uh, I think uh, it, it might win the Oscar. I mean, honestly, I, I think uh, this might win the, uh, win the Oscar. Uh, I think it has a really good chance. I believed every second... Of what they were doing there's the digital copy code right there so there you go there's the steps do what you need to do hopefully they work uh, they shouldn't be expired uh, right now so here is the discs you know just regular paramount discs the blue blu-ray and the and the gray DVD you know nothing too exciting there for uh, for Bad Grandpa, so, you know, this is a, it's a pretty funny movie, you know, I mean, the, the picture quality, the sound quality of this thing, it's it's pretty good seeing that it's all mostly, you know, not really professional cameras being used, but, like, handheld things, you know, it, it was, uh, really, good. I was very pleased by this Blu-ray. Next up, we got a film that was released on the same day as Bad Grandpa, I believe, and that is Last Vegas with Michael Douglas, Robert De Niro, Morgan Freeman, Kevin Kline, uh, a lot of great, great, great actors in this film. It's like, uh, this is pretty much just like The Hangover, but with older people. You know, I mean, there's a, there's a marriage going on, so they have to go on the, uh, the bachelor party in Las Vegas, uh, and it's, uh, you know, it's it's uh, predictable for the most part. Uh, here is the digital copy code to Las Vegas. I don't know. There you go. It's in focus now. Use that. And uh, the thing with these uh, digital copy codes, whoever gets to them first um, gets them. There's really no rhyme or reason around that. And there's the uh, shot of the discs. If you're into this kind of thing, if you like the hangover, you're probably going to like this too, so you should pick that up. Next up, we got Oscar-nominated film, actor, and supporting actor, Dallas Buyers Club. Um, this film, uh, it's really... Honestly, th this is the last uh, film that I didn't do a review for, for the best pictures uh, at the Oscars. And uh, my personal thoughts on this movie, quick thoughts, good film, good acting, good, you know, everything around, really good film. Could it slow down at some parts? Yeah, sure, but it's still good overall. Four and a half uh, out of five stars for... Dallas Buyers Club, uh, the performance is, like I said, really, really good. Jared Leto is fantastic in this film. Uh, I think he will win the Oscar. If he doesn't, uh, you know, this year there's a lot of, there's a lot of great competition uh, at the Oscars this year for, um, for all the categories. There's, there's really a lot of competition. And a quick look at the discs, you know, there's regular universal discs, they're you know, n nothing fancy, no artwork or anything, but yeah, Dallas Buyers Club, uh, I mean, this is a really good film, I'm, I'm very pleased that it's nominated for Best uh, Picture, a lot of people are saying Matthew McConaughey has a really good chance of winning the, uh, winning the Oscar, but you never know what could happen there. Next up, we have a film that's not a new release, but my Blu-ray broke, so... Iron Man 2, yeah, that's right, uh, probably the least favorite of the Iron Man films, I would say, I mean, out of everything I've read and watched, not a lot of people really enjoy this movie, but, uh, yeah, if you don't already have this Blu-ray, it's been out since, what, 2010, I believe, uh, so, I don't think, yeah, the digital copy code is expired, it's expired in 2011, but, um, still, you know, 
the Blu-ray, it's everything is it's all silver, it's all gray. You know, nothing is uh, no artwork. But yeah, Iron Man two, you know, good Blu-ray. Just I picked it up because mine actually broke in half. Next up, we have the Diamond Edition of the Jungle Book. Uh, honestly, I didn't see this film in a long time since I was just, you know, a little kid watching it, but, uh, I didn't remember anything about it, uh, going into it. So when I watched it, first of all, the picture quality of this Blu-ray is absolutely fantastic, uh, and the sound quality is also really, really good. I'm very surprised of, uh, how they actually restored this, uh, that good. I mean, if you bought this Blu-ray, it, it looks fantastic. This is probably one of the best Disney uh, Blu-rays uh, from the classics that they that they ever released. I mean, I think this actually has better picture than the Little Mermaid did. Um, and inside, you just got a little little book that has like games inside or something, and and you know, just like crossword puzzles and just to talk about the characters and, and all this kind of stuff, connect the dots. Uh, and on the back, we have the next Diamond Edition coming out, which is Sleeping Beauty. Uh, personally, I think it's just a cash grab because this is already released on Blu-ray, and I have it on Blu-ray. It's a Platinum Edition Blu-ray. So, you know, I I'm debating whether I should get the, the Diamond Edition because I already have it on Blu-ray, so why waste my money on something that I already have, you know? So... What are you going to do? But yeah, the Jungle Book, really good animated classic. You know, it's just part of those Disney classics. So if you didn't already pick this up and you're into this kind of thing or you have kids or something, pick it up. I think you'll really enjoy it. Next up, we got Peter Jackson's epic, King Kong. Uh, you know, th this won the uh, Academy Award for Best Visual Effects. It also won two more Oscars, as it says on the... Uh, on the cover there, this is a, it's a gold kind of border that you get around the, uh, the actual picture. I enjoy this film. Maybe a lot of people didn't like it. Maybe it's just a guilty pleasure for me. But, uh, yeah, this is, uh, to, in my opinion, it's a, it's a, it's a good film. It's, it's a epic, if you will. It's a, it's an epic film. Um, let's see if this thing is expired. There's a digital copy code, guys, for King Kong. I hope it's not expired, but if it is, you know, I don't really see an expiration date on this, uh, on this paper, so if it is expired, uh, I apologize about that. Next we have a double feature, and this is actually the first uh, double feature I own in my whole Blu-ray collection, uh, period, and uh, that's Ghost Rider and Hellboy. I, do, I don't care about this movie. Ghost Rider is not the reason why I bought this. I bought it straight alone for Hellboy. I have Hellboy 2 on Blu-ray. I wanted the first one, never found it. I found it in a $7 bin. So I said, you know, I'll pick it up. Ghost Rider, I have no interest in. I saw it, didn't like it. I saw the second one, hated it even more. Uh, it's just not my thing. You know, my favorite Nicolas Cage films are probably the National Treasure uh, movies. But, um, yeah, inside you get, uh, it's a, that's for both films, I believe you could use this for. Uh, so here's the code. Do what you need to do. Whoever gets to this code first, you know, have a ball. I'm not going to use it. And the discs, they're both the same. Like, Well, not the same, but the artwork on the discs is its exactly the same. Next up, we got a film from my favorite actress, and uh, that's Meryl Streep. And the film is It's Complicated. Uh, personally, I remember seeing this in the theater. I was cracking up laughing, you know, just some of the things that she was saying and he was saying and, you know, Steve Martin uh, was saying and some of the other characters in this film. This is just a really... It's a really funny film, and I'm happy to upgrade it on Blu-ray, because before this, I just had a, a plain old DVD of it, and every time I would put that in the Blu-ray player, it just wouldn't work. I don't know why, but the disc, it just, it wouldn't work. Uh, I don't know why, but uh, yeah, there's there's no disc art, and there's no thing inside, so uh, yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's, it's complicated. If you don't have it, I do recommend you pick it up, because this is a really funny movie. So next up we have um, Changeling, directed by Clint Eastwood and, you know, Angelina Jolie had the Best Actress nomination for this film. And, uh, you know, this is a really heart-wrenching thriller, story, drama, you know, it's just, this was a crazy, crazy, crazy movie. I mean, I, I honestly, the first time I watched it, I, I was blown away. You know, I really, I love this movie. This is a fantastic film. Uh, just some of the story elements that, that go on, you know, and, and just everything. Angelina Jolie's performance as this mother who loses her son. Um, it's just, it's so heart-wrenching and, and compelling. There's also no digital copy code. It's just a disc, but there is artwork on it. So, uh, 
that's nice. But yeah, there's Changeling for you. Finally on the list, we have There Will Be Blood. Daniel Day-Lewis's uh, Oscar-winning performance. He was up against Johnny Depp for uh, Sweeney Todd that year. He was also up against George Clooney. Uh, so I didn't actually watch this film. I just got this yesterday with the, uh, with the um, King Kong thing. So I didn't get the chance to watch this. I'm going to watch it, you know, whenever I get the time. But, uh... You know, the sole reason why I bought this is for Daniel Day-Lewis and his performance. You know, he won the Oscar, so I said, you know what, maybe I'll like it. So I can't really give you my thoughts on it. But, um, yeah, there will be blood, you know. And here is the digital copy code. Maybe it'll work. Who knows? It might have been in there for a long time. I really have no idea, but you could definitely test that out and see if it works. If you have... Um, this, because uh, they're all from different companies. Well, guys, that wraps up my Blu-ray update this month. I'm probably going to have another one of these uh, next month, giving away all of the um, the digital copy codes, you know, talking about the Blu-rays. Uh, but the sole, just Blu-ray unboxings, the next one I'm going to have will be for Thor The Dark World, and then there will be one for Gravity. Uh, and they're both coming out on the same day, so you will get two separate individual videos for them. Uh, so yeah, guys, once again, thank you for watching this video. Subscribe and comment your thoughts on any of these uh, 11 titles. 12 titles, I should say, because the one is a double feature. But uh, yeah, guys, once again, thank you for watching this review. And please subscribe to the channel so you can catch up on all the latest you know, movie reviews and Blu-ray unboxings and you know, Disney Infinity updates and, and everything like that. So yeah, guys, I hope you subscribe. Over and out.